Hey, it is Kenny from Kenny's Audio File Rec Reviews. Thank you very much for viewing my channel. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. This is going to be a really, really short video of brief comparison of the Steely Dan um, album Pretzel Logic. I'm going to compare this earlier version to the um, Analog Productions Acoustic Sounds UHQR version. Like I said, this is going to be a very short comparison. Because I'm just using one source, one older source to compare to the UHQR, because that's all I have. And this is not the black label original ABC logo uh, version of it. This has stamp 1974 on it. But this is the, um, the version of the um, record I'm using. So it's not the earlier black label um, version of pretzel logic um that might be a unequal fight in, in this comparison but i thought i'd go ahead with this comparison anyway because this is what i have so um i like to just like to say this these comparisons are very difficult um uh, I, I get i get a lot of these requests or some of these requests from my viewers to do with these comparisons but a lot of people don't realize how difficult they really are especially when you're using one turntable for the comparison I have two turntables. One's a, a Riga PA turntable and FETA 3 cartridge. And I also have a Technics SP15 turntable. But they're different turntables. And um, so I have to use one turntable for this comparison, that being the Riga P8. And um, so when I'm doing these comparisons, I have to put one record on, memorize what I heard, put another record on, the other record on, memorize what I heard, and memorizing what I just heard uh, previously is a little bit difficult. It'll be a lot easier to have two identical Riga 8 turntables for these comparisons, but that's not going to happen. So I'm just going to have to deal with using that one turntable. And like I said, that makes it very difficult to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, especially when there are very subtle nuances in these differences in these comparisons. And that, that was a case in this, in this situation. Um, yeah, I got mine, uh, as of the t uh, taping of this video, early August uh, 2020, I got my UHQR a couple of days ago. And when I did the comparisons, um, I looked for certain things. I looked for, you know, I call it 3Ds and an S. I call it depth, dimension, detail and sound stage and there could some be some other nuances in between those four categories but that's what i i look for and when i played the uhqr and i played the um the uh, older version and i listened to uh what was the name of the song ricky can't lose that number um ricky don't lose that number i'm sorry there's this, uh, I believe, a, a percussion sound right at the beginning of that, that song. And on the original version I have, uh, it lacks detail to me. Not overly so, but a bit. It's a little bit more, in compared to the UH QR, it's a little bit more uh, blurred uh, audibly to me. The UH QR is a little bit more clean. Not overly so, mind you. Just... Just um, just a little bit, just a little bit, not overly so. And the detail of that song on the UHQR is a, is ratcheted up a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. I can hear like, you know, a little bit more detail uh, on the, you know, cymbals and percussions and voices and um, instruments. Instruments are a little bit more detail, but like I said, not overly so. It really isn't. It's really tight. It's really close. Um... But uh, and also the a little bit more in the depth of the uh, sound stage. It might be I might notice just a little bit on the UHQR, but like I said, not much at all. The difference between these two is a close race. It's a it's a very close race. And there's another song, I believe it was um, any major dude will tell you, and I believe that's the one with the guitar uh, brief guitar intro. And on the UHQR, that guitar intro was, uh, the, uh, like I said, the, the detail of the, 
guitar, the nuances of the instrument, I can hear just a little bit better on a UHQR. Like I said, not overly so. It, it, it's not a wide margin. The difference, uh, the differences are slight in, in uh, you know, on these two records. And I'm going to move forward to um, one other song. That is uh, East St. Louis Too Low. East St. Louis Too Low. On the UHQR, that that um, song sounded a little bit more live and light, light, lifelike than the original. Like I said, not overly so. It didn't beat it by a wide margin at all. It's very, very, very close. Um, at least with the um, older pressing I have. Like I said, I had if I had a black label pressing, maybe it would be, would have been even a closer margin. Um, and, and some of the songs on here, like, um, I couldn't discern too much of a difference. Like in this, uh, Parker's Band and Through the Buzz, you know, maybe one, one of the, um, uh, records might have had just a little bit tad more bass than the other. One may have a tad more, uh, you know, uh, treble than the other, but it was it was so slight it was very difficult to discern a difference especially the way i go about it with one turntable the uhqr this is what i'm basically trying to say the uhqr did not blow it away it did not the um it was very very close um it it really was i didn't like i said throughout the uhqr version maybe throughout the record Maybe this a tad more um, instrumental and vocal detail. And maybe the soundstage, maybe it's a little bit more expansive, but not much. You know, maybe you hear a little bit more echo and decay and, um, and realism and depth, but not much at all, to be honest with you. It's very, very close. Um, to be honest with you, I paid a dollar for this one. This, this copy um, at a thrift store decades ago. And um, you're going to ask me, well, Kenny, is this one, the UHQR, 150 times better than this right here? Of course not. I mean, even if this was, cost me, you know, $75, is a UHQR double uh, twice as good as uh, the one that's close to original. No, it's not. It's not. The, the, the differences are very, very subtle. And I think um, what, you, what you're paying for if you get this set is you're going to get a, ver a, a better version. To, in, to me, you are, but slightly so, not overly so. It's not the UH guard didn't blow it away is what I'm trying to say. It's, ve it's a very, very close race. It's a close margin. Um, do I regret getting this UHQR box set? No, because I, I like Steely Dan. I like the overall sound of this UHQR, the detail, the, the slight bump in the detail. But uh, for, uh, for those of you who are, like I said, on the margin in terms of getting this set, uh, I, I don't know what to say. If you if you want the best, then get the UHQR. But it, it's it's the best, but amongst these two, but very very slightly so. And whether it's worth one hundred fifty dollars, I have to leave that up to you. But um, the UHQR wins, but it's very very it's razor thin close in terms of depth, dimension, uh, sound stage, and detail. And that's what I look for. It's very very close. It does it doesn't blow you away. In my opinion, um, what I'm really looking forward to is the Steely Dan Asia album. That's the next one up. I believe this comes out uh, late September 2023. I think this is a technological advancement in recording. This, to me, at least to me personally, this sounds phenomenal. The uh, the original version, and I can't wait to uh, hear the UHQR. And see if they can best this one because I believe the UHQR that uh, Analog Projections is uh, issuing 
came from, uh, I think, a backup uh, production tape, a backup copy of the original tape. So it's going to be interesting to see how the UHQR compares to one that's close to an original. But that being said, that's my comparison between the uh, uh, older version of uh, Pretzel Logic and the UHQR. Like I said, the differences are very subtle, very marginal, extremely close, and the UHQR, in my mind, does not blow it away, although it's a fine, fine record and fine recording. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for viewing my video. God bless, strong love, and peace to all worldwide.